what's up everyone welcome to sin on the chat my name is sin all right i hope everyone is doing okay um i stopped making videos for quite a while because i just honestly i became uninterested i felt like it was contrived i felt like the things that i had to talk about were things that were negative um and i'm really a positive person i i like to you know, I don't mind dabbling in a little bit of the gossip and a little bit of the petty stuff here and there, but I really, really like positivity and empowerment and motivating people and things like that and, mo and people that motivate me. Um, so then I, I found myself like getting caught up in things that really just didn't move me. Um, but you know, I have a little bit of an appetite for it, just not that much. So I gave it a break and wanted to reassess, you know, whether or not I wanted to continue to do a channel and speak about things and I decided that I do but what I'm gonna change is I'm gonna talk about the things that I actually give up about okay and I'm just gonna be me and talk about the things that I like I'm not gonna try to pander to any one demographic of, of people that like certain things you know if you are someone that just likes straight up negativity and drama you can find that in a million other channels um, but you know, I'll talk about the pettiness, which I am going to talk about today. Okay. This video right here is, um, this is going to be, this is about Amanda Seals and the, the real daytime, um, talk show. So there was a clip posted up on Instagram yesterday where Jeannie Mai was talking about the uh, her engagement to Jeezy. As you know, everybody's on this uh, nationwide pretty much quarantine. And so they're recording from their homes, um, doing, you know, bits and pieces. I, well, I don't, I think they're doing the entire show that way, but I don't watch the show. I just catch the clips that come up on YouTube and on Instagram. And so from the clip that they showed, um, they showed Jeannie Mai speaking about, you know, how happy she was and her engagement and a possible wedding when that might be uh, and all of those things. And then Jeannie Mai was just talking, you know, she got she got a little bit of uh, emotional. She started talking about love and, you know, her past relationships that didn't do too good and how, you know, she just wasn't sure that she was ever going to marry again she didn't want to marry again because of her negative experience in the past and you know basically she discussed the happy place that she's in now with Jeezy which let's just I'm just gonna say this right now I am a fan I, I like Jeannie Mai and Jeezy together a lot I think they're a dope couple um for many reasons Jeannie Mai the obvious like she does her thing She's bossed up, Jeezy's bossed up, he does his thing, and I think they're a good balance. Um, so, and they just, I just get good vibes from them whenever I see them together, when I, whenever they post up. It's not like, and you don't see any drama around them. You know, I think that Jeezy's past that point where he's gonna like do dumb shit. Um, and I think Jeannie Mai has a great head on her shoulders. She seems like a great person. Um, so I like them together. So, Jeannie Mai went on and she was discussing everything um, and she's always gushing about Jeezy. It's cute. I like it. Um, I know some people aren't fans of it for whatever reason, but I'm a fan. Um, and so she was talking about Jeezy and Amanda Seals was kind of just sitting here like... I, for a moment, I didn't know if she was like about to fall asleep. I didn't know if she was like looking at she was watching tv behind her camera like if she was watching another tv screen or watching a show like because she just was not there like her face was in the screen with all of the other women but she mentally was like not in that conversation i don't care what anyone says she was not into that conversation she looked uninterested and there was a, like a split second where she like smiled and like, ah, oh, like did one of these. And it looked so forced and fake. Um, and it was during the time, where, you know, even when Jeannie got emotional and she started crying, like Amanda Sears was just sitting there like, kind of like whatever. She looked like a corpse and like the makeup that she had on didn't do any good. And I'm not trying to bash her. I think she, Amanda Sears is a beautiful woman. Um, but that makeup that she had on, like she literally looked like a corpse. If you guys didn't see the video clip that I'm talking about, check this out. I really loved back on myself and found out who I was after the divorce. 
So I'm happy about that because that question for me was something I had a conversation with myself already so so that I wouldn't mislead him. You know, I knew, I, I, as, as soon as I knew that that was important to him, we took the right steps, even went through therapy in order to prepare ourselves for if that moment was right for us. Wow. So yeah. are you guys thinking of a long engagement, a like? So there you have it. What are your thoughts? Okay, um, and if you guys can see what I was talking about with the makeup, like her makeup looked like a little like white and grayish. Like it had like this gray. I don't know if it was just the lighting or whatever, but she had like this white grayish like tint. It just looked awful. But she looked dead, and that's the vibe that I was getting in the video. It was just like dead vibes, like what the, no emotion, nothing. Um, so. I don't know. Well, I looked in the comment section on the uh, on the Instagram page, and I saw it came out that Amanda Seals was like clapping back at somebody, saying, you know, you were, she was telling the commentator that uh, you would never speak to me like this in, in person. Um, pretty much like because she was getting called out, people were calling her out. for the way that she was in that video clip. She just was unemotional, uninterested, and like didn't want to be there and was frozen. And so people on IG, their followers, their fans were calling her out. This is nothing new. Since Amanda Seals has come on the show, a ton of people have expressed their dislike for her and their dislike for her on the show. And I think that is difficult sometimes where you already have a crew or a set of people that viewers are already used to and then someone new comes in, all right, something that's already to, to, into a setting that is already established and you know the viewers have gotten used to this specific group of people. When you add another piece to them, you add another person, it changes the dynamics of things. But I think in this case, it doesn't really change the dynamics of the four original girls like Lonnie, um, Tamara, and... Uh, Adrian and Jeannie. I think they still have their vibe, but it is obviously it's going to be different when you have a, a, a new addition, you know. So Amanda coming onto the show, you know, it changed it a little bit. Like her, her, but they keep the same vibe amongst themselves, like those four. But you know, Amanda is a different. She's a new addition. It's just going to be different because she's she's new and it, she has a different um, point of view for the most part. Um, where she is more, like the other girls are more, oh, uh, you know, a little girly, you know, maybe a little bit dainty, except, with the exception of, but even Lonnie's cool, she's funny, you know, um, she's kind of laid back a little bit, and Amanda is kind of left from that whole scene. And so, which I think is why they did that. They did that on purpose. And what happens when you put someone this polar opposite of the people that are already there, there is going to cause some controversy and a lot of people aren't going to be receptive to it because they have already bought into the theme that was there prior to that person coming on. Okay, so that's what they're used to, whatever. Um, and that's why they like those girls. So here you will have someone who is kind of opposite of those girls and it just throws everyone for a loop. So personally, I'm like half and half with Amanda Seals. Like, I, at first when she came on the show and I saw the clips, I was like, oh, I like she just, I didn't care for her. She kind of runs me the wrong way. Um, she seems like she's very confrontational. Like I've heard her speak about like problems with other people when she was on The Breakfast Club, talking about having issues with a number of people. And it just seems like she's the common denominator. I'm not gonna get into, you know, her past beats. I could care less. Um, but it just, it, it's who she is. Um, then I watched her on the show a couple of times and I felt like, oh, you know, she's not that bad. You know what I mean? Like, she's okay. Um, I didn't like, what I didn't like on the show that she did one day was when the girl, some, some girl came on and insinuated that her and Jeannie Mai didn't get along and she corrected the girl. I like that she corrected the girl, but what I didn't like is she insinuated something like if I didn't like someone, um, heads will be rolling on the floor, something like that, and it ain't gonna be mine, or 
something like she's gonna be the last one standing or something to that effect. That I didn't like. You know, like what? Like I would take that like as a threat. You know what I mean? If someone said that about me. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out this clip. I mean, you and Jeannie have butted heads in a couple of different times. Have we? That just kind of goes. Stop. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because you know what? We're it not. It comes to territory, are, though, right? No, that's not the territory Thank we're you. coming from. Yeah. We're not butting heads, and I think it's very, very important, especially yeah. at a table of diverse women, Say it. to very clearly de delineate the difference between having a difference in opinion mm -hmm. and butting heads. You'll yeah. know when I'm butting heads. Yeah. Because yeah. when I butt heads, there's only going to be one head standing. <laughs> and, I, and as you can see, <laughs> we're still here. Like and I also everybody pretty much feels the same way. I looked at the clip on YouTube. People in the comments are saying the same thing. Um, and she gets defensive, you know. She just gets defensive and just pretty much challenging like the commentators. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, oh, that's my daughter. You know, we all live in this house. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna wrap this up because she's giving me eyes. Yes, baby. And I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and run to the post office because I've been in my jammies all day. I put on earrings just so I look a little bit normal on this video. I'm missing the nail. I can't go to the nail salon like all of us. How is everyone doing, by the way? How is everybody doing on this quarantine? What's up with y'all? Are y'all making it? What are y'all doing to pass your time? Are y'all okay? Are y'all wishing like everyone else that this thing is like done and over with? What are your thoughts? I wanna know how you guys are doing. I wanna know how you guys are coping. Um, comment below, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Let me know what you think about this thing with Amanda Seals and uh, Jeannie Mai and and um, in the real daytime. The I mean, the real. Also, what I noticed when I was watching this video, and I want you guys to go back and like look at the little clip I put up and see if you notice that Adrian kinda, it looks like on the screen, like she's looking towards like Amanda, like, like, like she's checking her out, but like, you know, keeping it cordial. But it looks like on the screen, like she's just, you know, kinda like checking her out, like, yeah, bitch, like I see you. Like I see you over there, or, you know, with your facial expressions or whatever. Um, let me know if y'all peeped that. Or oh, am I bugging? But that's what it looked like to me. Like, Adrian was peeping it and she was making a note of it. Like, a mental note, but kind of an outwardly mental note. Like, I see you. You know, like, I peep you. Like, let me know if y'all saw that. Because I saw that. I saw I saw she kept looking over to another screen when Jeannie was talking. She was looking at Jeannie, but then she would look at one of the other girls. And I'm just going to assume that the other girl was Amanda Seals. By the way, I, I read body language and I can read people pretty good. So that's what it looked like to me. I don't know. This this thing looks a little iffy. I don't know how long this is gonna last with Amanda Seals, but I think I think that she may just need to have her own thing, like her own show. Because it seems to me like she's not that much of a people person. The only person that I've ever really heard that goes to bat for her is Charlemagne the God. But Charlemagne, I've said this before, I don't think he is the best judge of character, at least in the past he hasn't been. And I, I'll i say that, you know, that's another conversation, but some of the people that he has co-signed and vouched for have not turned out to be the best. Um, and sometimes I wonder if he sees the things that, that I see, like the other people see about these people. But there are also people that like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I do too, but I have learned my lesson plenty of times doing that. Usually when there are a lot of people that have a problem with one person in common, it is usually that person that is the problem and not that all these other people around this person are bugging out. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. I'm out, stay healthy, stay safe, stay strong. This will be over soon. Hopefully we can keep each other entertained. I would love to hear from you guys and let me know your thoughts. I'm out.